Hi dolls, it's Adora and today I'm back to show you guys how I turn my number two hair from Hair Elite Co. into a jet black, beautiful jet black. And I'll be using Soshin Carson and here is the packaging that came in the mail from Hair Elite Co. I'm going to be using gloves and also I just wanted to show you guys um, I did spot a couple grays in the hair before I started dyeing the hair black. But some specs on this hair, I got 124, 122, 120 inch, and a 16 inch closure. And my closure is silk based closure. And right here I'm just showing you guys um, the length of the hair and the weft. And I'm showing you guys that also um, it's very easy through it and put my hands through it it's not that hard yeah this this right here is the 20 inches it's so cute isn't it there's the weft and then here is the 20 I'm sorry the one previous was the 22 here's the 20 inch and there's the weft as well and then here is my 16 inch lace closure it's very thick at the roots, so this is something that you're probably going to want to um, pluck. And also, one thing that I love about lace closures, I mean, uh, silk based closures, it doesn't have the lace around it, so it's very easy for you to um, lay it down when you're making your wig or doing a sew-in. And here I'm just showing you guys everything that I'm going to be using to dye my hair black. And also, disclaimer, this hair was purchased by me. Um, I did not get it sent to me for free or anything. I purchased this hair by myself. So now we're going to get started. I'm just unraveling the hair. Unraveling, unraveling. Whoop, whoop. Now I'm just going to um, put the color all over the hair. Just saturate the hair as much as you can. I've got two boxes. I recommend you get two boxes if you have three bundles. Matter of fact, I would recommend a third box because I really had to skimp on my last bundle of hair because I wanted to save it for my closure. I really wanted my closure to be really, really jet black. So I'm still saturating the hair, so saturating. And here's the closure. As you can see, I'm making sure that I get it on there very very well and then I'm twisting it once you get to the top of the silk you don't want to spray the color onto it directly so like I'm doing I'm picky I picked it up and then I spray the color down so it doesn't get in contact with the lace itself so I'm just gonna wrap it up in foil let it sit there for about 30 minutes. I'm letting all the hair sit for about 30 minutes. Right here, it's um, it's already sat, so I just conditioned it. I wanted to show you guys. I used my Aveeno conditioner on it, and then I wrapped it back up for maybe about three to four hours. And here is the finished product. And of course, I let it air dry. That's why you see the beautiful ringlets in it so as you can see I did not get any color onto my silk base closure that's very very important this is um, almost identical to a scalp of any individual so it's very very easy to manipulate and um, pass as your own scalp Stay tuned for my next video to see how I make a wig. Ciao! Mwah.